You got to stay focused. There was an interruption right there, and I shut her down. But you got to stay focused. You got to stay away from distractions until you get your material down. And then the another big factor is when you're gambling and you're putting your time in and you're studying and you're researching. You don't change your mind. You never change your mind. You think you're going to change your mind for the win? You don't. It loses more than likely. Here it is. We're not talking about the, the sprint. We're talking about the long haul. We're not talking about systematically having a process of picking winning games. And I'm laying it out to you right now. I'm giving you the material. I'm giving you the, the formula. And uh, my example that I'm going to go into illustration about is uh, betting. Uh, betting a game and uh, letting that money just ride. We're going to bet on a game, and we're going to let the money ride. So this is how I do it. My first bet is $25, and I'm going to win probably 25 So it's a $50. And now that's my second bet, 50 to win 49 so then I have 99 my third bet 99 to win 90 189 that's three bets 189 stop or keep playing Fourth bet, 189 to win 180. That's going to be 369. So we went one, bet 25, win 25. Then we got 50. Second bet, we're going to bet the 50. We're going to win 49. Now we got 99. Our third bet. Third bet. We're betting the 99. We're going to win 90. So now we got 189. You can quit. Quit after the third bet. We'll have 189. We only started with 25. Third bet, 189. If you're, if you're not liking that, three bets. No, we don't stop. If you want to keep playing, we go to the fourth bet. We let the 189 ride. Boom, boom. 189. 189 to win 180. Is 369, 369 profit, not bad. That's 369. So the uh, the how to how to how to gamble. It's going to be based on you. It's based on you. How much? It's all up to you. I mean, I could be telling you stuff, but that might not be what you'd like to see. You know, how much are you going to want to win? Are you working with 100? I bet that 100 and you have 200. You bet the 200 and you win, you got 400. You bet the 400 and win, you're going to have 800. Our first bet, you bet 100 and win. You won 100, so now you got 200. You fire that 200. You fire that 200 on the second bet. 200 gets you back 400. Now we got 400. Uh, third bet. Let the 400 ride. 400 is going to ride. You're going to have 800. You can quit after three bets. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. It's just a matter of when you know when to quit. It's a matter of when you know when to quit and when you want to quit. Uh, don't extend your bankroll. Don't feel under pressure. Be disciplined. Don't be greedy. I mean, how much are you trying to win in a day? You got to go back to that number one rule I told you. Be goal-oriented. Follow the path. Not have distractions. Everybody showing how much, how to make this, how to do this, how to do that, how to how to win ten thousand, how to win a hundred thousand, how to do this, how to do that. We can lead you to the path, and but it's up to you. You know, I'm giving you the facts straight. I'm not trying to hold any punches back here at the sports book. Tell you how it is. I just ran it. I didn't even have a chalkboard. I just mapped some shit out on how to how money management and how you're gonna do it.
That's betting uh, straights. It don't tie your money up in parlays unless you, you know, whatever what your bankroll is. Your parlay could be an 18 parlay for five bucks. It depends on what you what that parlay, what you're going to put it together and how you're going to put it together. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's just, there's so much. And I can tell you so much. And then at the final, you have to make the decision yourself. But not going to scare you wrong. I've had enough experience. <laughs> been to Vegas, been to Florida, been to New York, been all over the country. Got the experience of winning. They've got the experience of losing. So this is the how-to. And then you decide what you're going to do when you win or when you lose. But the people that I'm hoping that I can connect with are the winners. Because winners never quit. And quitters never win. So if I reach enough people and talk to enough people and get it out there, that sports betting, I mean, Michigan uh, is leading the country in online gaming right now. Sports betting is legal pretty much across the country, but there are select states that you cannot do the online gaming, betting online and gambling, other than going to Vegas. But everybody hometown in their home states feeling free to bet on sports. It's a major of attract, attraction going to games, depending on everybody's hobbies and interests. But sports gambling has been going on forever. It's been illegal, but it was still going on. And now here we are, legalized gambling. Mikey T here at the Sportsbook, Michigan's premier sports betting hotline with tips, analysis, and predictions. And uh, I can sit at the table with the best of them. I'm not at the mechanic's table. I'm not at the lawyer table or the doctor's table. I'm not out selling cars. I'm not doing real estate. I'm gambling and I'm sports betting and handicapping races and handicapping games and I'm freaking a sports encyclopedia. Mikey T at the sports book. Make that call. Good luck on the game tonight, Yukon Huskies. We'll talk to you later. See ya.